Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Just a quick little uh brief or whatever before I hit the sheets. You know, what I'm saying got an early morning. But uh man, what happened today? Well, what happened today? Crystal Bradford was cut. Crystal Bradford was cut according to her agent Marcus Crenshaw. Um Crystal is is uh, recovering from surgery and injury. I believe it's an ankle. I'm sorry, I should have looked it up before I recorded this. Let me look it up right now. In the meantime, um, you know, prayers up to CB. Get well soon, CB. Get back on the court. Uh, get back to the team. You know, we are so, you know, I, I guess I was relieved at least to see you get uh, a second, a second, uh, a second, uh, how, how do I say this? How do I say this? A second chance, excuse me. To see you get a second chance was uh, kind of dope for the time being, but you know, for it to end so soon is very unfortunate. But yeah, Marcus Crenshaw, he explained the reason CB was waived was because her left foot was still not fully healed after breaking the bone last August when you know she was on the scooter and everything like that for the dream last season. It was ironic because you know it's her foot, you know the. The video never to be spoken of again. She's kicking and stuff, and it's just ironic. But um, but yeah, man. Uh, he expects her to be. Oh, she won't be ready at the top of the season. Uh, he expects her to be healthy midway through the season. So, best of luck to to Crystal CB. Get back in the game. You know the game misses you. The game loves you, and the game is better with you. Uh, speaking of that, I was like going back and forth. I don't know if I wanted to react to you know. She addressed it. She addressed it on the AU all round table. I've had the tab pulled up for like the past week, but with this whole, you know, thing, the strike thing, you know, with the channel on watch and everything like that, I don't know how much I want to just start out reactions and stuff. For the tournament, I'm thinking of like creating like a second channel and just being like on this channel being like, hey, I uploaded a reaction. Link is in the bio. And then doing that and then having like a so like if that channel gets taken down, it gets taken down, you know, it's whatever. It's not where all my stuff is. All my stuff is over here. So that's why I like protect this channel so much. By the way, if you're new to the channel, this is the road to 2K subs. But I was thinking about doing that just for the tournament. I don't know, you know, around Sweet 16 when things start to, excuse me, slow down a little bit more. Um, that's when, you know, kind of like the time that I did it last year, I did Sweet 16 all the way through the finals. So. Yeah, man, um, I might do that again or whatever, just on a whole different channel, like create a channel like named Rashad Reacts or something like that. If someone steals that, then that's whack, but it is what it is. Anyways, second thing, second, uh, Caitlin Clark, she went on Stephen A. Smith's show last night, and um, yeah, she had some things to say. You know, Stephen A. in, in his boastful way uh, as... Um, you know, Kwame Brown says, uh, he don't rock with Stephen A. And, you know, he does it. But anyways, in this boastful way, the way that he got 14 mil a year, because he did get 14 mil a year, he was like, do people need to start saying Steph Curry is the male version of Caitlin Clark? And she goes, ha, ah, yeah, I guess, yeah, say, say that. Say that instead, instead of calling me the male version of Steph Curry. She said it's really cool to be like, you know, to hear all the NBA players shout her out. Kevin Durant's a big fan of her game. He said that if she was on a team like a UConn, surrounded by more All-Americans, her numbers wouldn't be the same, but she's still dope. And what she's doing, you can't take away from and You can't deny it. And then he said, are you the best player in the game? She said, yeah, I mean, I believe I am. My teammates believe I am. I put in the work and the results are showing and the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, so, you know, if you don't believe you're the best player or you're the best at what you do, whatever you do in life, you should probably stop. Or if you're not even working to be the best, if you aren't the best today, you should probably stop. Um, me with my craft, this is probably the most, just a moment of transparency, this is probably the most confident I ever felt. Like I feel, I feel like this stuff is pristine. And I know like you might be looking on the YouTube and you might be like, the YouTube stuff is like halfway done. It's like Zoom videos. The talent, uh, the, the titles are lackluster, the thumbnails aren't engaging, but like, 
just overall, like in my mind, I feel like I'm in my bag right now. And, you know, that's all thanks to the man upstairs and uh, hard work and just consistency. And uh, I feel like if you don't feel like you're the best at what you're doing, you know, shout out to the salute to Genius, the uh, Netflix documentary. I had a coworker in that jump. That was crazy. That was pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, salute to, salute to Cootie, salute to Chike, salute to Jay Ivy, friend of the channel. Um, you know, salute to all those guys, man, for, for that movie. Anyway, salute to Ye as always. But uh, yeah, man, just to see his confidence and everything and the reason why he was so confident in speaking about it. And I'm going on a whole tangent about confidence, but you got to have that no matter what type of field you're in, you have to have some type of confidence and also walk the line of, of being humble because if you're not humble, life will humble you regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's going to humble you at some point. So, you know, just stay humble uh, because, you know, it could all be taken away from you in, in a blink of an eye. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, um, I say all that to say this. I don't think Caitlin Clark is the best player in the country today. Um, when I see Aaliyah Boston's footwork down low, when I, you know, obviously Paige, uh, when I just see Paige play, period. And, you know, one thing that Joel always tells me, which he'll probably address the next time he comes on the channel, is her efficiency, uh, you know, just how clean she plays. You know, um, with Caitlin, it's a lot like, you know, Trey and even Steph and Dame, you know, like a lot of those times when you shoot those logo shots, you know, you see the highlights of them making it and, you know, scoring 40 plus points, but you don't see the air balls and the bricks and the times that it looks like a bad shot that early in the shot clock, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot that comes with it. The turnovers that come with the fancy passes, that's just a part of it. Um, the things that you don't always see in highlights. So those are a couple of things in Caitlin's game that she can like clean up a bit. Obviously defense as well, step it up, but people are in it for offense. You know what I'm saying? The people come to watch offense and the game's about offense, but uh, I don't know. It'll just be interesting to see how she, like she said, she has so much room to improve and she has two more years to do it while she's in college. So uh, we'll see. She, she did say that. That was something interesting on the Stephen A uh, interview. She said, I have two years. I have two more years of eligibility. So that's just interesting to see, you know, on the WNBA watch, you know, who's going to declare next season? Is Paige going to declare? Is Caitlin going to declare? It's looking like both of them are probably going to stay. So just a little interesting thing. Anyways, that is my women's basketball brief for the day. It is March 9th, 2022. It's a little over midnight, so it's actually March 10th. But I'll count this as March 9th. You guys be easy guys take care shout out to uh anna anna costa bell anna costa bell she's the one that spoke to marcus crenshaw about uh cb's injury so salute to the reporter shout out the reporter shout out the people who put in the work till next time you guys be easy man free bg to his backwards the long way the fast way the strong way our way all right all right Yeah, yeah, yeah.